Okay, here it is. It's the Casio FX991EX model. And you can get the ES model. It does pretty much the same thing, but this one has a little bit more memory. I think this is sort of hard to get right now. It could be anything to do with the markets. It could be something to do with just how much people need it and it's completely sold out. But um, I thought I'd unbox this just to show you. It feels kind of good to get it. It's been a few weeks waiting. Um, scientific class whiz, non-programmable, which is very important because if you had it programmable, it won't be allowed in the exam. Cassie. Very good company, excellent watchmaker. Just saying. It's battery powered and solar powered. And for the exams, we always recommend having the solar power just in case it's your unlucky day and the battery runs out. The equation solver, very useful actually, which has you know some upgrade from standard calculators which usually have difficult menu systems. And the good old definite integration there. Fun fact, it actually uses, if I'm, if I'm correct in saying this, I think it uses the trapezium rule, numerical methods. So you can't put algebra in here, which is important because if you could, it wouldn't be allowed. <laughs> A full list of what it does. Look at this. It comes with a slide on hard case okay so should we open open in at the top here we have some protective things to get rid of i'm thinking can i push down yes push down there we go okay that's, <laughs> this doesn't look ordinary to me but perhaps we're on the road to the correct way. Ah, here we go. A nice bit of bubble wrap in here. And the pop. Look at the booklets. It's as big as the calculator. All right, let's get this out. Let's get this out. difference here. What's going on? So I suppose the person who's making this sends it to a lot of different places and they can't be bothered to sift out which one it goes to. Maybe these booklets are so cheap to make. This is interesting. Look at this. The same model is 570EX. So if you can't get hold of the 991EX, maybe we get 570. Oh, what's this? A booklet to read it from memory. Some people, you're either a reader of the booklet or you're not, right? Changes or modifications not expressly approved by the party responsible for actually could void the user's authority to operate this device. What are we going to do about that? Void the user's authority to use it. How would they even know? Huh. Well, I wonder what they're doing to it. Okay, there you go. Just in time. Okay. Nice print. And here it is. Here is the calculator. Am I too destructive in general? I bet I am. Let me get the old scissors out again. Just, just ripping this stuff in. Ooh. This is um, 
know that new plastic is dry, it feels clean. Look at that. Here we've got the solar panel. Can you see in the light? We have this sort of plastic shimmer. Geometric shapes, nice dashboard. Nothing much to do now but turn it on. All the buttons are working. There's no, look at that. There's not really any movement in the buttons, pretty well made. And to turn it on, we'll press the, <laughs> the on button. And there we go.